how to keep your computer physically fit. The first step in computer safety is to keep your computer physically fit. Dust can potentially destroy the parts of your computer. By cleaning your computer regularly, you can maintain its performance and avoid expenses on repairs. Cleaning the computer means cleaning different parts of the computer system like 1. Cleaning the keyboard Cleaning the keyboard is an important task for keeping your computer physically fit. Dust and dirt on the keyboard do not look nice and can prevent your keyboard from working properly. Particles such as dust, food, liquid, etc. can get stuck underneath the keys, which can prevent the keys from functioning properly. Use a soft cloth to clean the keys off the keyboard. 2. Cleaning the mouse Cleaning the mouse is the next step to keeping your computer physically fit. There are two main types of mouse, optical and mechanical. An optical mouse is an advanced computer pointing device that uses a light emitting diode LED and an optical sensor. This type of mouse does not require any internal cleaning since there are no rotating parts. However, they can get sticky over time as dust collects near the light emitter. This can cause erratic cursor movement or prevent the mouse from working. You must clean the surface of the mouse and mouse pad regularly to prevent dust from accumulating on the mouse. Mechanical mouse uses a rubber ball that makes contact with wheels inside the unit when it is rolled on a pad or desktop. This type of mouse is especially susceptible to dust and particles that can accumulate inside the mouse, which can make it difficult to track or move properly. If the mouse pointer does not move smoothly, you will have to clean the rubber ball. 3. Cleaning the monitor Cleaning the monitor is the third step to keep your computer physically fit. Dirt, fingerprints and dust can make your computer screen difficult to read. However, it is easy to clean your screen when needed. But before cleaning, you should shut down the computer. Unplug the monitor from the power. If you are using a laptop, shut it down. Use a soft and clean cloth to wipe the screen clean. Do not spray any liquid directly on the screen. The liquid can leak into the monitor and damage the internal components. Protecting your computer from illegal access You have studied about how to keep your computer physically fit. It is equally important to prevent damage or misuse of data, software or hardware of a computer and restrict unauthorized access to it. One of the ways to prevent the misuse of data or software is authentication. Authentication is the process of verifying a user's identity before granting him or her access to a computer system. In private and public computer networks, including the Internet, authentication is commonly done through the use of login passwords. Knowledge of the password is assumed to guarantee that the user is authentic. Some of the authentication procedures are Password protection Protect your computer using password is an important step to make the data of computer safe from unauthorized use. A password is a word or collection of characters used for user authentication to prove the identity or get approval to gain access to the computer. The password should be kept secret from those computers who are not allowed to access your computer. Biometric Authentication Biometric authentication is a process in which biological characteristics such as fingerprint, face and retina are used to check the identity of an individual. In this process, a biometric machine is used to capture the biological details of a person and compare these details with the existing details which are stored in computer. It is an automated method of recognizing a person's identity by using his or her biological characteristics such as 1. 
face recognition face recognition is the process to identify an individual by using his or her facial features biometric machine captures the facial image or video of person's face this image is transformed into a unique face print the image is transformed using a technique called elastic graph matching Images are sent to a back-end database for comparison and possible match. Algebraic algorithms are used to make a perfect match. Currently, face recognition technique is most widely used in smartphones. 2. Iris and Retinal Recognition Biometrics which analyze the complex and unique characteristics of the eyes can be divided into two different types. Iris Biometrics Iris is the colored band of tissue that surrounds the pupil of the eye. An iris recognition system uses a video camera to capture the sample while the software compares the resulting data against stored templates. Retina Biometrics Retina is the layer of blood vessels at the back of the eye. A retinal recognition system shoots an infrared light beam into eye that has been placed close to the signal receiver. Then the genetic factors are interacted and analyzed by the analyzer to grant access. 3. Voice recognition. The term voice recognition refers to finding the identity of a person who is speaking rather than what he or she is saying. Recognizing the speaker can simplify the task of translating speech into system that has been trained on a specific person's voice or it can be used to authenticate or verify the identity of a speaker as part of a security process. Encryption is the process of conversion of data and information into a form called ciphertext that cannot be easily understood by unauthorized people. Decryption is the process of converting encrypted data back into its original form so that it can be understood. The use of encryption or decryption is as old as the art of communication. In older day, at the time of war, a cipher, often called as code, was employed to keep the enemy away from obtaining the contents of transmissions. Simple ciphers include the substitution of letters for numbers, the rotation of letters in the alphabet and the scrambling of voice signals by inverting the side band frequencies. Some complex ciphers work according to sophisticated computer algorithms that rearrange the data bits in digital signals. For example, take a look at the following code. Do you understand the code or does it make any sense? No. This is because it is written in encrypted form. However, if you know the decipher, you can decipher it. Try replacing every letter in the message with the letter preceding it in the alphabet. You will find that the code 